leave us alone. I don't plan to. These things are like World War Z zombies. Best team up ever! It's good there are guys like you to help the world. Y'all call tech support? You really did it this time. Seriously? Yeah. You asked for my help, and then we end up up the creek. Heroes versus Aliens, the four-night crossover event, starts with Supergirl, Monday, November 28th on the CW. What's up YouTube and welcome to this trailer breakdown of the Fortnite crossover for Arrow, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow and of course Arrow. So this is going to be a crazy Fortnite, huge, huge crossover as we saw in the trailer just now and it just looks mental at what they are doing. So, weirdly, it does look like it is going to be the Dominators, and that is it for the aliens. So, in the original Invasion comic, we had a huge cable, a alliance of aliens led by the Dominators to take on Earth's metahumans as they grew concerned at the amount of metas that were springing up on Earth. Now, this is possibly the same storyline as what they're going to be doing here in the TV show as we've got a spring of meta coming out of the, well I'd say the Flash, so probably metas weren't a huge thing and then after the whole Star Labs explosion thing, well we got Barry, we got loads of others of course throughout the, I'd say the country, the world, because well, they started popping up everywhere. I know that was only localised to Central City, but we seem to be getting more, and they are alluding to even more in The Legend of Tomorrow. And there could be even a bigger thing in the actual DC Universe, because of we know that the Justice Society are a thing. We know that there are messes in it there as well, and obviously Nate Hayward on Legends of Tomorrow is a meta. So it looks like we're just going to get the Dominators coming down to Earth and really just... I would say that they're going to be trying to wipe out all the superpowers on Earth and perhaps take it over. I, I expect there'll be like signs where they want water or some shit or something on Earth is really taking their attention. So there's something why they're coming to Earth. So in yeah, the trailer, it's pretty crazy. We get to see Citizen Steel's actual outfit. We get to see what he is going to be wearing as he is Citizen Steel, and the helmet looks pretty crap. And of course, we've seen in the EW previews in the com in the not the comics or in the magazine, we got to see the Atom in his suit. We know that's coming back as well so we also have got Deathstroke in the trailer which is mad which I really hope that this is something to do with Flashpoint, I hope that this is a Flashpoint thing and we get Manu Bennett back in or under the mask as we know he's been hinting and filming this as well because Deathstroke is going to be huge and I expect that they're probably priming this in the TV shows. And then they are going to hope that this is going to be getting people hyped for him to be in the Batman film, perhaps. That's the cynical part of me that is looking at that there. So it's going to be interesting to see how these people are brought together. It seems like Flash discovers the ship originally, which leads us to the theory that Barry is the one who knows all about them and this is why the legends come and warn them. This is what I think the ship coming down is going to be. It's going to be them warning what is to come because we know that Stein knows all about the secret message and they, I expect that we're going to find out what's going on with that. But it's been cool to see how these things work out. I know it's going to be a lot of tender moments and I'm hoping that we're going to get to see Flash and Arrow a lot to team up because I missed that. I have missed that on these shows quite a lot. But that's it for that video. Please drop a like. Please do subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.